Yo guys, welcome back to another video today. I have for you guys another unboxing video. Now my buddy over at Activision hit me up and said, would you like to do an unboxing video on this? And I said, yeah, for sure. So they have sent me this package here. Now I know what it is, but you guys don't. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I'm gonna let you guys see as I go through. But what is in there is some pretty cool stuff. And also today, I'm actually gonna be up to some pretty exciting stuff and it's all thanks to you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys with me and I'm gonna vlog literally right after this. I'm gonna start vlogging my day from, from after this until I get back home later on this evening. So I wanna bring you guys, and I also wanna say thank you to you guys because with your support is what's allowing me to do these great opportunities and I wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for you. So massive thank you to you guys, but I think we should start opening up this package and show you guys what's inside. All right, so I have my scissors and we're gonna start the, uh, the, the as always, the one-handed unboxing video. We are going in at the side down here. Save me. All right, are you guys ready to see what is inside here? Hang on a second. Are you ready? Boom, baby! Activision have kindly sent me the Black Ops 3 Limited Edition PlayStation 4. As you can see, we have the Black Ops 3 controller, the Black Ops 3 game, and then the Black Ops 3 console. But what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna open that and I'm gonna show you it in the flesh and the blood so firstly there is the game and obviously it has nuketown included so that means that i am going to be able to play the nuketown map that is going to be on the black ops 3 that's come from black ops to black ops 2 and now we have it on black ops 3 so that's not bad at all but that is what the box art of black ops 3 looks like let's take a look at something else this is the controller and man i gotta say i love it orange is my favorite color guys that you all know so we got the orange d-pad orange thumbsticks and then the orange logo here on the side. Man, that is one sexy controller. I don't know if I want to use that controller because it's so nice. I kind of want to keep that as a collector's item, but we'll see, we'll see what we do guys, we'll see what we do. But let's open up and let's have a look at what the PlayStation 4 looks like. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely beautiful. So obviously you have the Black Ops 3 logo here on the front or the top of the PlayStation. And then down here on the front, you have all these four different symbols. Now, I know that one is from Zombies, and I believe these two are from the campaign. And then that, of course, is the Black Ops 3 logo. We got the orange buttons here. Man, it's the one terabyte edition, which is absolutely insane because I can download all my games in it, all my DLC on it, and I have a ton more space than what I do already on my original PlayStation. So there's the box, as you can see, it says one terabyte down here, and that, is what the PlayStation looks like in all its glory. Man, honest to God guys, thank you so much for supporting me to be able to do things like this for you and show you exactly what these consoles look like early. Massive thank you to you. Massive thank you to Activision. You can find their links in the description box below to Call of Duty, their Facebook page, all that good stuff. Check the links down below. If you wanna follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, you'll find the links down below as well. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support recently, you've been incredible. I'm gonna have loads of Black Ops 3 content here on my channel. And as always guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in another video.